Hi, this is Steve Lampin with Belden, here with my friends Madison Technologies here in Australia. And uh, today I'm talking about uh, something that's really quite amazing that Belden has produced. And let me tell you the story about how this came about. Uh, if you play with data cables, Cat5, E, Cat6, Cat6A, um, those are higher and higher performance, higher and higher bandwidth, higher and higher data rates for those cables. And uh, um, Cat5e, that's pretty easy. Uh, you can buy connectors all over the place for Cat5e, and they work just fine. And, uh, but by the time you got to 6, when 6 was introduced, well, then uh, suddenly things began to not work so well. And in fact, I remember talking to a different connector manufacturer, not Belden, and they said, you know, they're having real problems with Category 6. They were having 70% failure on some of their connectors. And uh, uh, so clearly there was something happening. As the bandwidth went up, things weren't working so well. And by the time you get to Cat 6A, well, I'll tell you, Cat 6A, 10 gig, 10 gig data rate, 10 gigabits, 10, 10 gigabits of data that um, people at Belden really thought that nobody in the field could put a connector on consistently so you'd get really good performance. And so what we offered was, we'll put the connectors on for you, we'll make your patch cords for you, uh, we'll pre-term, which is you tell us what lengths you want, and you put the, we'll put the connectors on for you, but we wouldn't sell you raw connectors. Well, as you probably are aware, this just doesn't go very far, mainly because people really don't know what the lengths of cables are. They're going to put them in, and they're going to install them, and then when they're installed, then they're going to put connectors on them. Then they know how long they are. Well, you know, if it's CAT6A, that's going to be a problem. And so we spent six years developing a new kind of connector, something called RevConnect. And I have a couple of Rev Connect connectors here, uh, some jacks and a plug, and I'll show these to you in detail in just a little while. Uh, but the whole point is, uh, this was developed over these six years, and I even have a crimp tool here. This is the crimp tool that goes with that. And uh, you could buy a crimp tool, which is uh, not very expensive at all. It's uh, about $150 Australian for something, something in that range. Uh, we don't want to sell tools, we want to sell connectors. So this is a, an inexpensive tool compared to a lot of other tools that use these category cables. So, uh, and, and I'll, let me just show you something about the, the tool, showing you, whoops, that we have actually uh, thought about this. Here's the tool. Here's the crimp tool, and you can see this is where the crimping takes place, right, right in the center. In fact, if we can get a close-up here of this, oops, I'll get there somewhere, okay. You can see here's the little hole that you put the connector in, and uh, the interesting thing is inside here are some really, really sharp blades. So normally, if it was a tool like this, I would say, be very careful with this tool. You know, no, don't try this at home. No, that's not true at all. In fact, you can stick your finger in this hole, and you cannot get the tool to crimp. You cannot move these jar, these bars uh, in next to each other because it waits for the connector to go in it first, and that unlocks it. Now, so that's one thing. It's really safe. The second thing is that there's a crimp tool here and there's a strip tool and the strip tool is literally part of the crimp tool in fact here is the strip tool you see how it fits in with the crimp tool so you cannot lose this this is most people buy these and then they can't find them anymore so they buy more well in this case this just goes right back into the tool you can't lose it so uh, that's one of the clever things we've done here is to make it really really easy but now uh, to really show you how this works, we're going to show you a video here. Uh, and this video is also available on YouTube, so you don't have to just watch this, but uh, you can also uh, watch the video alone, is what I mean. And um, uh, so let's go watch the video.
Well, welcome back. Now that you've looked at the video, you have a pretty good idea of how this connector works, that you wire up this little module, and then the module, here's what the little module looks like. I can hold one up here for you to see. We have 14 colors in jacks, so you could change the color of the jack if you need to. It doesn't care. And, and see, the, the advantage, there is a huge advantage here, which people don't realize. Uh, well, few people do realize. I'll tell you, I, I show this to people in the lighting industry, which is moving from DMX512 to Ethernet, like everybody's moving to Ethernet. And they go crazy when they see this because they're on the road with theatrical lighting controls. And so it's very often that their patch panel might have uh, some bad jacks or somebody smashes a piece of equi rolling piece of equipment into their patch panel and suddenly they have some bad jacks. Uh, normally they would have to re-terminate all those jacks. Well, not with RevConnect. What you simply do is take out the jack, take out the cable manager, which is the thing in my hand here, plug in a new jack, and plug it back into the patch panel. No tools, no nothing. And the thing about this that really makes it super high performance, not only is it easy to put on, but a super high performance, is the fact that the pairs inside here are never split. And this was the problem with all those old connectors, is they made you separate the pairs out. And what that did is compromise crosstalk dramatically. In fact, just a slight separation of pairs, and it's five or six dB worse crosstalk between that pair and anything around it. So this maximizes the performance of the cable and minimizes the time it takes to put it together. So it's really the perfect combination. And so I, you'll understand now that I have a, a shielded jack here. And the thing is I'm looking from the back of the jack. Here's the back of the jack. And you see it has these doors that open up. This is where that cable manager will go in. From, from the other side, it looks just like a regular jack, as you can tell. Just like a regular jack. And it's a keystone jack. It'll fit into a keystone patch panel or a wall plate or whatever you have going piece of equipment that takes a keystone. That's the most common shape. And this is shielded. And uh, we also have unshielded. Here's an unshielded jack, so you can compare them. Of course, the shielded is more expensive than the unshielded, but uh, that you would expect anyway in any world with any jack. And so the point is, uh, and then I have a plug here. I wanted to show this plug especially because uh, there's some things about this plug that are really clever. We've really thought about this. And one of the things about this plug that's really nice is the fact that if you plug this into a, a patch panel and it's really dense, a really dense patch panel, then these plugs are literally on top of each other or right next to each other. And normally you'd want to get to the front of the jack. Oh, by the way, this one has a, a cover. I'm taking the cover so you can see the pins inside. And, and normally you'd want to get your finger in the front here to unlock the jack to take it out. Well, you don't have to do that anymore. You can do that. But what you're going to do is there's this little metal bar that runs down the connector here and comes out to this little thing you pull. And when you pull this, it unlocks the, the plug and you can take it out. So that even the, the densest patch panel, you simply reach to the back, you pull this and it comes right out. And yet it locks very firmly into the patch panel when you don't want it to come out. So that's fine. Now I'd say the, the RevConnect system from the back, you can change it five times to something else. And the front of these connectors are good for 750 insertions, because this is where you're going to do all the plugging and unplugging is really on the front of it. You might change it occasionally if the jacket or the plug is bad or if you chose the wrong color, but you know that's an exception. So five times is probably more than enough for anything you want to do. So there we have RevConnect. Uh, uh, just a simple new way of putting on connectors that will maximize the performance. And you can do CAT 6A and get full CAT 6A performance with a connector you can put on in the field and also repair when something goes wrong 
without any tools. Thanks for watching.